a um, friend of mine has um, a problem with meat and dairy. So I'm trying to come up with a recipe uh, that's stuffed bell peppers and we're using, let's see, tofu, bake, and smart patties, black bean burger, kale quinoa bites, rosemary, a little, that's uh, tomatoes, eight ounces, eight ounces of tomato sauce, this is Worcestershire sauce, this is boiled in a bag uh, rice, because I don't want to take the time to do rice perfectly, this does the job very fast, 10 minutes, so no big deal. And here's the important stuff, bell peppers, two of them, and we've got fresh tomato, and these kind of are a little sweeter, at least I think so. Um, so I'm gonna use this little guy. Um, these are for flavor. Some uh, these will be minced up, uh, crushed up, and then stuffed into that along with all of these other things. It's actually gonna get sautéed first. We have to cut those and boil them for about three minutes first. Uh, that softens them up, makes them edible, changes the flavor a little bit, and then you can stuff them in there and then bake them all together. And it, it does a really nice job of kind of marrying and staying firmish. You know, not too firm. Um, so yeah, we're gonna see what tofu mixed with kale and quinoa bites and black bean burger um, and some bell peppers that are like uh, sweet mini uh, peppers. Um, I guess they're sweeter. Uh, a little rosemary, um, Worcestershire, and uh, some uh, tomato sauce to kind of marry it all. Oh, yeah, one more thing, some onions. So we'll take that guy.
All right, so we've got that in there. Man, it's so good. It tastes amazing. I can't wait, but I've got to cook it first. So I'm throwing it in the oven at 350. It's going to take like 25 minutes or so. And uh, I guess that's about it. There's the little water in the bottom of the pan to make sure it doesn't burn. It's going to go kind of in the middle of the rack. Oh, man, this is going to be good. This is going to be good. I'm so excited. Done. It's going to heat up a little bit. Okay. <laughs> Pretty sure they were vegan um, stuffed bell peppers. It's like a, a take on kind of a meat stuffed bell pepper instead of like slathered in cheese because that's not great for you know vegetarians and vegans who are trying to avoid dairy. One of my friends is. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and edit together that recipe and throw it online because it was so good, so good. You guys need to try it. Um, even if you're not a vegetarian, like I'm a meat eater, I don't do the vegetarian vegan stuff, and I was completely satisfied with just one of these things. So, you guys are gonna enjoy it. Give it a shot. All the uh, ingredients are available at any of your local grocery stores these days. So, yeah, I hope you guys are having a good day. Do better today than you did yesterday, and I will talk to you later.